In this video, let us learn about heart blocks. Heart block basically means there is some kind of blockage in the electrical conduction pathway of the heart. The most common site of this blockage is the AV node. Now, heart block, hence, is also known as the nodal block to signify the AV node or junctional block, the junction between atrium and ventricles. So this heart block, based on its severity, can be of three types, first degree, second degree, and third degree heart block. Let us one by one understand what is the heart block. Before that, let us understand the normal physiological function of AV node. So whenever a electrical impulse comes down to AV node from SA node, AV node causes a delay and then allows that impulse to tra get transmitted to ventricle. This delay that is caused in the AV node is known as the nodal delay. Nodal delay. This nodal delay is important because this gives a time difference between atrial depolarization and ventricular depolarization and hence both the atria and ventricle don't depolarize at the same point of time and hence after atrial depolarization the blood gets time to go into the ventricle before the ventricular depolarization starts. That is the normal function of AV node. This AV nodal delay can be appreciated on an ECG. This AV nodal delay on an ECG is represented by the PR interval. The ECG shows a P wave and then comes the QRS complex. So this is P, this is Q, R, S complex. Now, P wave represents atrial depolarization, QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization, and the time duration between those two, the isoelectric part, that is the PR interval, is significant of the AV nodal delay. Now, a normal PR interval is some any time less than 0.2 seconds. On the backdrop of this understanding, now we come to the last type of heart block, that is the third degree heart block. Over here, there is no relation between atrial and ventricular paces because all the waves that are all the impulses that are coming down from the SA node are not getting passed down to the ventricles. There are no QRS complexes that is passing that gets passed down. And hence develops an ectopic pacemaker in the ventricles. So there develops a new ectopic pacemaker in the ventricles. And this new pacemaker starts to give off ventricular impulses. And hence there is a complete, complete dissociation between atrial and ventricular paces. So if you see a graph, the graph will look like somewhat like this. Over here, suppose this is a P wave over here, then there's again a P wave, then there's again a P wave, which gets overburdened with a QRS complex, which is of abnormal morphology. Then again, you get to see a P wave over here. And after that, we have a QRS complex. And just after the QRS complex appears another P wave on the top of it. So there's a complete disjunction or complete dissociation between atria and ventricles. There's no relation between atria and ventricle. So in a setting of second degree heart block, if you increase the dose of AV block further, you lead to a third heart, third degree heart block. Now, in case of third degree heart block, as no impulse is getting propagated, this is also known as a complete heart block as no impulse gets propagated.